Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we will be flipping through my finished coloring book of Chibi Girls coloring book, Anime Color by Number by Color Questopia. So this is a color by number coloring book. I um, really went through it the last month and finished it. So, And that includes the bonus pages. So as you can see, this is a color by number. It's um, done in a mosaic style. So, But this was the one that was the white background. So... Um, when I started it, I did it in black lines, so. Of course, you get this. I didn't color this. I leave this blank. I don't like coloring those uh, test pages. So this first one, as you can see, I didn't put any lines in it, um, any background lines in it. I just let it plain. So this was like kind of like a test page to see how it worked. And then I did black lines eventually, which I prefer them with the black background, to tell you the truth. This one was the first one I did with the gold or the silver. I can't remember if this is the gold or silver that I outlined the, the lines in. Which I really like the way the silver highlights everything. So this was done pretty much with Tau Trees, Copics, and Sprays. Those are the three main brands I use. This was really cute. Like, I did change some of the pictures. Um, sometimes I would change the hair color. Or I would go into my set and get the hair color wrong. So at this point, I wanted to try the brown line, so just to see how the brown worked. The brown didn't really work all that well, and I picked the wrong color shade. This was supposed to be light pink, and instead it turned out to be a darker pink. That's sometimes the problem with some of the pinks. Sometimes they'll stay the one color, but they end up being a darker color than they... Same thing with the brown. This was probably done with my Tau trees, because I could tell this marker was fading. Another one that I did with a black liner. Then this one, her hair was supposed to be, I think, light brown and I made her hair red instead of making it brown like an orange girl. So I changed the color. And it's okay if you change something you don't like. Like, you don't always have to make the girls the same hair color as the book says. <clears throat> and I think this eight was supposed to be a pink and it turned out to be a purplish color, so. Like a light purple. So that's what I did for change. I did change some of these up. I think this is the one on the front cover. Inverse. So hold on. Yeah, that's the one on the front cover. Yeah, it's this is the one on the front cover. If you guys are wondering. So I did put this with a gold um, gel pen as the outline. These are just fun. This one I definitely did in Copics. The hair, at least, I did in Copics. Everything else I think I did with Sprees. This one I did with Tau Trees and Sprees. I definitely like seeing these girls done. This was really a cute, very, very cute little book. I just like things with castles and unicorns and things like that. I really do like those kind of images. And then this is the bonus section that we're in. So this is from different books. This one is from Dragon Fantasy. So this is one that I did. Which I had fun doing the dragon, actually. It's kind of fun to do the dragon. Doesn't necessarily mean I'd get the book. This one, I like the hummingbird. The hummingbird actually has a lot of colors in it. Like the background is really uh, light blue. The background was a Copic blue, which was frost blue. But they said the 16 was supposed to be like a sky blue, so that's what I did. I put it as like a frost blue. That I remember. This one, I do have this book, actually, the, the mermaid one. They said that her hair was supposed to be light brown, but I made it red. As you can see that, I made it very, very red, so. Gnome coloring book. I think this turned out really cute. I like the gnomes. This was different color background because it was green instead of blue. Which 
which I had been used to all the blue backgrounds. And then this is the unicorn one, which I have this one, but I have it in a black background, which I'm very happy that I have it in black background. Then there's this one, which they said soft violet. I don't have the soft violet in my sprees, so I used the Copic for the unicorn's um, color because they said soft violet, and I have that color. This color is a Copic color. So that is the end of this book. Um, I'm not doing the review. Please leave us a review on Amazon. So Overall, I think this book was a lot of fun. It was very quick. It was very fun to do, and I, and I found the girls absolutely cute. Um, paper-wise, it is a thinner book, so if you do use markers like I did, you will have to use a blotter page, so keep that in mind, so you don't, um, do what I did with one of the pictures in this book, which was to go over it with darker colors, so, because one of the markers did bleed through to the next page, so, just use blotter pages when you get these, uh, color by number by color questopia. I hope you have enjoyed this flip-through. Happy coloring, and have a great week or weekend. Bye!